joint, sadly. Brought my nightmare before Christmas. Brought my classical look. Brought my classical art perspective. This piece was a little tricky to redraw because I think her hips here are very flat, even though I understand that the hips going this way, but I think when you add curves to, a, especially to, to, a, to the female human body, it just looks better. That's the good thing about uh, drawing with pencil. So you can erase it a bit. I'm not too certain about those lines, so I erased them both. And we'll see. I'll add them later as I draw more. You know, at times it seems that the progress seems, you know, very slow. I know people that draw a lot quicker than me. They tattoo faster or sketch or draw or other stuff. And I find it satisfying at times when the client switches over to me because they see the work that I've done. And somebody else who just hurried up and got the job finished. So, so I recommend this. I want. I don't want to say take your time, but take the time necessary to complete the task. I understand how deadlines can be uh, very, very helpful in a business. And they do help uh, keep order, no doubt. But just be aware not to not to let those um, deadlines make you make you. Uh, Sacrifice quality. Don't do that. There's a person that I worked with a while back that I still keep in touch at. When this bastard gets fired or laid off, he's always asking me for work or through my contacts and I know different shops that are always hiring people and and I tell them, you know, how's your portfolio coming out, your art portfolio? And no comment, basically. You 
if you run a tattoo shop or an art gallery or something, uh, some sort of a design firm or illustration, some sort of illustration racket, I'm pretty sure that you would want people that are continually, continuously uh, creating creating stuff. Is it continuously or continuously? Continuously. I just have a, an art portfolio that's growing. I don't give a fuck if you got a degree in art or that your dad was this painter. I don't give a fuck if your dad was, you know, Boris Viejo or Pablo Picasso. I like seeing work done by someone's hands. I like to let the work speak for itself. It's amazing when I see people get praise because their dad was this person or that person. And I find it silly because you know, they're not the dad. They are not it. And the moment we start I think there's a huge difference between a brand of a company and then the brand of a let me see let me think this out clearly here for a minute or try to you know for Apple who used to be dominating when Steve Jobs was, was alive and in charge. Yes, uh, Steve, Steve Jobs was the brains behind Apple and still making um, advancements in technology but not the leaps and bounds that it did when Steve was around. And in that case, the brand was, in my opinion, Apple's brand was Steve. But as someone, let's say, my favorite artist, which is H.R. Giger, and he's no longer with us, just because someone has his last name wouldn't make me a fan of their artwork. I'd uh, check it out out of interest because of the last name. But it automatically wouldn't. Wouldn't uh, believe that that's, that's the same person, the same caliber, the same time, the same imagination. Forgetting now where the what point I was trying to make. But uh, yeah, I like seeing people that just just keep on creating, keep on doing it. I don't give a fuck if you're living in one of those slums in the Philippines or some cartel infested land in Mexico where all your portfolio consists of basically copy paper. You know, create your artwork, create what you can, 
focus now. We all we all have different challenges and some have more than others. But when you when you focus, when you sit down and take the time and create to draw, to retrace, to study, to to try new methods. When you when you create those things, man, your your portfolio can speak says it. Like, oh, fuck, you know, if you you know I can't speak Portuguese. Or Japanese, and if you can, can, if you can't communicate without English or Spanish with me, I know that your artwork can, without even knowing, you know, the, without even words, without even words. And I just I want to remind everyone to don't make any fucking excuse. Don't don't say you know that's too many hours. You know my my hands hurt. Sometimes I, I get a pain on, on this end around here somewhere. Sometimes in different parts of the hand. And uh, massage my hand when when that happens. I'll go ahead and watch uh, something on YouTube. Give my hand a break, and uh, I just keep on drawing. Keep on doing it. Should a day come where I could just all, all I could do is make. A Best. Try to figure out a way to hold a pencil in my hand with what I can. Fuck that. Fuck quitting. Don't do that. Don't quit. Look at your ancestors. But if you're Chinese, look at the Great Wall of China that's been there for centuries. Pre Egyptian. Look at those pyramids that your ancestors built by fucking hand. Mexican, look at the Aztec pyramids. And there's so many things. Whatever your culture is, just uh, read up on it, check it out, see how how much luxury there is today. Look at it. I don't think you would want to be around back in the days when there were Vikings, Muslims, Christians like, killing each other during the Crusades or other invasions. Look at you. How many of us can actually right now say, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to go watch um, Batman and order a pizza. How many of us? A lot of us. You know, that's, that's not a hard life. That is not a hard life. We're very comfortable. Now it takes a little, it takes some goddamn discipline to say, so you know what, Instead of me partying, I'm going to go ahead and create something today. And do it. Do it. Take your time, sit down, go somewhere quiet. Be alone and do it. Please, please, please. And that's my name on Facebook.